Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be recording this video for dnnhero.com. Uh, I'll be um, in this video trying to help a client of mine with a problem that he has in this website. And um, first of all, let's, let me show you what the problem is. Uh, the site used to have uh, an e-commerce uh, component to it and it used to run under an SSL certificate and now they get rid of that but the site is being redirected to the HTTPS uh, URL when they try to access the admin and the host uh, pages. So let me show you what the problem is. I'm just going to log into the site. So I'm logged in as host. If I try to go to host menu or admin menu, let's see what happens site settings. See at the top it shows HTTPS so the client has asked me to, to see how we can uh, resolve that. I'm gonna upload a small little application that I have that will give me access, completely access to the database. Okay so here is my FTP application I have my file that gives me access to the database. I'm going to upload to the root sql.aspx and I'm going to go to bin folder and I'm going to upload the DLL to the bin folder. Go back, go back to the root. Now let's go back to the site and I'm going to access the SQL file so I can have a look at the database. Okay, so here we have a little weird interface to see if there is any page set to use uh, HTTPS. So let's give it a select all from tabs. Let's have a look at what we find here. Mm. See, this is this might be where the problem is. You see, is secure? Is secure is set to true to all those host level pages and I um, suppose admin level pages as well. See, those are admin pages. Let's have a look at the. See, it's all set to true. I'm gonna do something very quite simple here. I'm just gonna because. Again, the site no longer uses HTTPS. I'm going to set a secure to all the pages. Equals to zero, which is false. I'm going to click execute. So all the records were affected. And let's go back. Let's remove HTTPS from the URL and try the site again. Okay, the site is back. Let's give it a shot on host settings. And now you're still getting the same problem. Now, you know what? Let's restart the site because it may be this, this might be cached. So let's restart the site by going to the FTP and just making a small modification to the web config. Just gonna put it here temporarily. You can make a very small modification to the web config just by placing a space, delete the space, save the file, and then put the file back to the server. Just by doing that, it will force the, the website to restart. So let's go back to the main site, main page, the home page. Okay, the home page is back. Let's try again. Let's go to host, host settings. Cross your fingers. And here we have. So things should be back again. 
equal to admin. Let's just give it a try on their admin as well. All up again. Everything working fine. Don't forget if you use the little trick here with the SQL .aspx. Don't forget to remove it from the website because if you leave there, you're gonna be exposing your site to anybody uh, who knows that file, who may know that file. So it you you'll be giving access to your entire database. So let's make sure that we delete the SQL .aspx and from the bin folder the web SQL utility as well. I'll delete it, all done, site is working again, thanks.